Welcome to Excel magic trick number 1525. Hey, we're still talking about dynamic arrays. And in this video, we got to see how to get spilled arrays into charts. Now, actually, we're going to have to use an old school dynamic range trick to get a spilled array into a chart. Now, the cool thing is, is that in the community tab at Excel is fun, where we had our discussions about dynamic arrays, Jicon in the comments gave us a tip about how to get spilled arrays into charts. Now over on the sheet 1527, here's our small data set and here's our spilled array report. There's the formula to get our unique list for the row headers and there's our formula to add. If we change a product, instantly our report updates. Control Z. If you want to see how to create this report, you can go watch Excel Magic Trick 1520. Now we want to try and make a chart from this. So I'm going to go to Insert over to, and by the way, if you click on the first cell of the spilled array and try to click a chart, I'm not quite sure why that happens. But if you click in the title above, then it works just fine. I'm going to resize this. Now it's actually pointing to the range of cells. So if I come over here and change something and hit Enter, this report updates, ah, but this one's not catching the last one. Now I'm going to Control Z. The first thing we want to try is simply to edit the chart using Select Data. We can edit the series, which is the numbers. And down here, I see it's got a range, so I'm going to backspace. E6 is the cell that houses the array, so I'm going to put the syntax for look at the spilled array, pound sign. When I click OK, it looks like this chart dialog box is not going to let us put a spilled array. No problem. I'm going to escape. We're going to try and get around that with define names. Now if we go up to Formulas, Name Manager, we'll actually get to see something cool about define names. I'm going to click New, and I'm going to try the Sales first. So Sales, and down to Refers. I'm going to delete all of that and click on the first cell. And now I'm going to put in the New Name dialog box the pound symbol. That refers to the spilled array. And when I click OK, doesn't look like that dialog box has trouble. New, I'll add Product. Delete that, click in cell D6, pound, click OK, click Close. Now here's the cool thing about define names. And you can use the keyboard F3, and it will give you your list of names. And you can double click whatever you want. Double click, that's a regular define names. But of course, since it's pointing to that spilled array, it totally spills. If I change this, look at that. So either the original formula or a defined name. Control Z. Now we want to try and put it in the chart. Right click, Select Data, Edit. And for series, that's the numbers, I'm very carefully going to backspace. I'm going to leave the sheet name in with the explanation point. F3 and double click Sales. So we have a defined name after the sheet name. Click OK. Now if you click Edit and go back and look, it converts it to a workbook name. That's been the same for as long as I can remember in Excel. Click OK. Edit. Backspace. F3, double click Product. OK. OK. And now here's the moment. Let's change Carlota to Yanaki. And when I hit Enter, this report's updating, and so is this one. If I come down to the bottom, here's our Table tab. If I add an Aspen, look at that. Everything's updating, even the chart. We'll add 4,521, and look at that. So we had to get a little tricky. And here's another great trick. If I click in a cell F3, I can paste a list of my names. And sure enough, we had to get around the inability to put directly the spilled array in our chart with defined names. Now, it's awesome to hang out on our online team. Thanks to Jicon for this cool charting trick. And of course, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun, including a few more cool dynamic array videos. All right, we'll see you next video.